Well, Buck and I are very excited this morning because something that I wasn't expecting to happen until April 1st happened today. And now I'm kind of panicked and need to get a whole bunch of yum yums delivered for our first time mother here, Ground Cracker. Because she, hey, stay out here, buddy, okay? You're freaking the goats out. She dropped two little girls this morning. Yes, oh my god, they're fucking adorable. They're very tiny, and um, this one's got waddles, and the other one back here, tucked in the hay, where you just were. Yeah, you just got up, silly little wolf. I just got bumped out of the way. This adorable little goober fell out of graham cracker sometime last night, or this early this morning, and is all cleaned off, and they're already making noise. I thought maybe we had a girl and a boy, or two boys, but they're both girls, I think. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. You're fucking cute. Yes, you are. Hi. Oh, I know. I'm big and creepy. That's okay. I know. It's against your nature. We got a big predator right here. And then me also. I know. Oh my god, you're so fucking soft. Ah, oh, so cute. Look at these waddles. They're so cute. So, Mr. Eclipse is a keeper. He throws girls. One with waddles and one without. And, uh... Yes, and Graham Cracker has done a great job. I was afraid if I wasn't here, she might have complications due to her size. She's really on the smaller scale for a kinder goat. She just makes it into the books at about 20 inches at her withers. She's very small compared to Mama here. Hi, S'mores. You're a grandma now. What do you think about that, Miss Herd Queen? You got grandkids. Fucked up, huh? How quick that happens? <laughs> Hi, Graham Cracker. You did a great job, honey. Congratulations. Didn't need my assistance whatsoever. This breed so far has been a dream as far as kidding goes. Even due to her small size. And I'm hoping she's feeding them. Let's see, is her bag drained at all? Still looks pretty full. I gotta make sure she's feeding them. She's got Grandma there to assist, but... I don't know if she's gonna let them latch on when she's done eating or... I not help the dog is here. He's just very excited. Aren't you, Buck? Are you very excited that there's new goats? <sighs> I need to relocate and move because, uh... Not to sound like a broken record, but for newer viewers, these goats are supposed to be full size right now when they topped out around 50 pounds and stopped growing, and this is the third year this has happened. Doesn't matter if I import them or if they're born here, so. I've had $900 worth of vet work and testing and all this stuff done to find out why goats don't get any bigger than this on my farm. And they are supposed to get twice that size. And uh, it's come up with nothing but uh, two of them got pneumonia. I mean, even the bucks don't grow. Mr. Eclipse is not full-sized. He's much tinier than these two ladies right here. Who grew to full size on my farm, so... People are like, oh, maybe it's, you know, coccidosis, or I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But I treated for that. Hey, Medpi, do me a favor and, and be a good auntie and don't step on your, your niece over there in the corner, okay? So Mud Pie is due on the first... The second, somewhere around there. The third, somewhere between 145 and 155 days. But she looks like she is ready to burst. I decided to separate uh, first time mama and babies here to make sure that the babies have a, a good shot at getting a drink. And finally saw this goober over here and getting a, a little drink. 
Mom is kind of looking at them whenever they uh, try to get a meal. And they're doing their little instinctive goat behavior and bumping her udder with their heads. And definitely getting little drinks. It's just, uh, she's probably weirded out by it since it's her first time. She's like, what just happened? And what are these things that just fell out of me? And why are they like trying to suck on me and stuff? <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. So I figure this room's less drafty. So uh, I put some more bedding in here and gave her her own food so she'll stay still and maybe the kids can get some meals in. And uh, I'm hoping they're going to be cozy in here tonight and not too cold. It's still uh, cold here at night and uh, I'm still trying to get more hay so they can be really, really warm. <laughs> Gonna try to uh, seal up as many drafts as possible and um, keep them warm in here tonight. But mom, that's what I want to see. Get in there, kid, and get at it. Get that colostrum. Yes, grow a little goat. You adorable little. A beauty thing with white belly band and little brown spots. Little brown moon spots. It's an amazing color on one ear. The other I'm expecting might show more color later. You guys shouldn't be itchy. What the hell is that? I'm gonna have to figure that out in a hurry. What he's got here? You're not supposed to itch. Is it the bedding? Something more sinister. <laughs>